expression that you can use for Bismillah is when you are doing something and you want to get barakah. Let's like say a lady is cooking food and she's got a little bit of something. She's not sure if it's going to last enough. The husband eats a lot of food and a couple of the kids do eat more than the husband. So she's like, this wouldn't be enough. So she deliberately says Bismillah Rahman Rahim so that she will get barakat in what she's doing. So another at attachment of Bismillah is for barakat. And another connection that an intention that you use Bismillah Rahman Rahim according to the Mufassirin and the commentators on Bismillah. Let's say you start in your car. You jump into your car. It doesn't start. Now you have another thing. You forgot to say Bismillah, right brother Amin? So now you go say Bismillah. So that's one because you forgot to begin what you were going to do with Bismillah. But another intention for Bismillah is to make the intention to get the assistance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you in what you're going to do. So now you want to help Allah. Please, this guy got to start. I'm going to reach the work very late. Bismillah for assistance and help from Allah. So, in so besides reading Bismillah to begin your Quran as a connection to the chapters. As Muslims in our daily life, my brothers and sisters, we should make Bismillah part of our life. As we spoke on the Fadail of Alhamdulillah last week and the whole life of Prophet Sulaiman and how he was always about Alhamdulillah and praises to Allah, we should always attach Bismillah either for begin something and also with the intention for assistance in what we're doing and also for the barakat in what we're doing.